My name's Wallace Richard Ellender the fourth, actually. I'm a fifth generation sugarcane farmer from Berg. We formed some land down here that uh, my family's only farmed since 1853. My grandfather used it as a cash crop years ago where they harvest five to 10 tons per day, which is not a whole lot considering we haul probably five to 10 tons uh, for every five, 10 minutes. Uh, agronomically, it's the same. The, the sugarcane plant is a tropical plant growing in our subtropical environment here in Louisiana. And every year when it grows, it's just like your grass in your yard. You cut it and it'll come back. But if you cut it like after two or three crops, it'll uh, lose a little viability and stubble. So every year we, uh, we plow out in our field and we replant about a quarter of our acreage every year. So it's a constant rotation. And the sugarcane plant will naturally flower and we don't have any flowering sugarcane plant right here now, but it's like a pampas grass that you may see. It's a tassel type. And so we can't plant the seed. So what we do is we plant the stalk and we'll cut the stalk in uh, late August and September, uh, sometimes as early as July and sometimes as late as October. Uh, and we'll cut it and uh, lay it horizontally in a row. And from each little growing point, each little node will grow a little plant. And that'll be our uh, most viable uh, crop for the next year. That'll be a quarter of our crop for the next year and it'll yield the best. Our farm has two combines, one of them's here and one of them's at our other location. And we'll haul 30-ish uh, trucks a day uh, to the sugar mill uh, every day whereas the sugar mill may take in 600 trucks. I, I, I don't know exactly what they take in every day, but it's a lot. Uh, uh, I'm about 5% of the race in sugar mill. They, uh, in Louisiana, there used to be as many as 600 sugar mills in the state, all very small. Right now we're harvesting and these machines will cut the cane into little short pieces we call billets and dump them into our wagons here. And, uh, and, and then the wagons go to the sugar mill and they'll, uh, extract the juice from it and uh, make some raw sugar there. The Raceland Sugar Mill where I go uh, uh, will make a raw sugar like sugar in the raw and then from there it's shipped to Domino which uh, makes uh, the Domino sugar which they farther refine it into your table sugar, your confection of sugar or whatever is sweet to your tooth. My name is Neville Dolan. I'm the plant manager at Raceland Sugars and I've been here for 11 years. The cane arrives at the sugar mill it, we receive all our cane in billets. Billet size, which is between eight to 10 inches long. We grind it up, then it goes through a, a shredder, then it goes through a milling tandem. It's, there's six mills in the milling tandem. We crush the cane, the juice comes out, and we send that to the back end of the factory. And all the residual fiber goes to the boilers to make steam, to run the equipment. You know, basically what we're doing is we're taking juice and crystallizing it and make it into sugar crystals. And that's what you do around here. It's a very technical plant. It's fully automatic. We've got highly technical people who work here. We've worked here for a long time. There's no chemical additions. There's no chemical subtractions. What's naturally coming in, naturally goes out the back. All our sugar goes to a refinery. They take it and they affinate it, they clean it, they re-melt it. They recrystallize it, they make it into white sugar. Sugar industry is like a family, really. You know, it takes a lot of dedication to do that. To come in every day, work every day, seven days a week, for 110 days, with no breaks, work through Christmas Day, work through New Year's Day. And that's what I like about it. It's, it's a hard-working place.